And it is now time for you to pick the winner. The motion before us once again is, it is wrong to pay for sex. And if you turn to your keypads, keys number one, two, and three are for females in the audience. Four, five, and six are for males. I'll give you about 30 seconds to lock that in. So um, while the votes are being tabulated, I want to talk with you. First of all, thank our debaters for a very, very spirited evening. And I also want to thank everyone in the audience who asked a question, and everyone, all of you were, you could feel it from the stage here, you were on the edge of your seats, you were very alive and present in this debate, and it just really added to the energy, so to you as well. Now, the final debate of our season will be Tuesday, May 12th. The motion is, diplomacy with Iran is going nowhere. Panelists for the motion are Liz Cheney, the daughter of Vice President Dick Cheney and the former State Department official who oversaw Middle East policy during the George W. Bush administration. Her partner will be Dan Senor, who recently co-founded the Think Tank Foreign Policy Initiative with Bill Kristol. He is married to CNN's Campbell Brown. Against that motion, Nicholas Burns, ambassador who, tra who served across five presidential administrations over 27 years and was the highest ranking diplomat at the U.S. Department of State until his retirement last year. His partner will be Kenneth Pollack, a former CIA intelligence analyst and expert on Middle East politics and son-in-law of my former boss, Ted Koppel. This debate will take place here, once again, at Rockefeller University's Casper Auditorium. In May, we will also be announcing the motions for our upcoming fall 2009 season of five debates. So next month, we'll have a clear look at what next year looks like for us. Tickets will then become available through our website. We know the dates will be September 15th, October 6th, October 27th, November 17th, and December 8th. Scheduled to participate so far uh, across a range of topics, our Vanity Fair columnist and founder of news aggravator newser.com, Michael Wolf, that will be on the death of the mainstream media. <laughs> Congressman Aza Hutchison, the former head of the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency and Mexico's former foreign minister, Jorge Castaneda, on Mexico's drug wars. Elliot Spitzer on the economy. and former U.S. Trade Representative Ambassador Susan Schwab on Buying American. All of our debates, as we've said before, can be heard on more than 185 NPR stations across the country. You will hear yourselves if you tune in. Please check your local NPR member station listings for the dates and times of broadcast. Also, copies of books by our panelists uh, tonight, as well as past debate DVDs, are on sale in the lobby. And are the results coming down? The wave off means keep talking. <laughs> Here they come. So we'll do this twice. Okay. So you voted before the debate on whether you agree or disagree with the motion, it is wrong to pay for sex. You have just now voted again, and here we go. Before the debate, 20% of you were for the motion, 50% were against the motion, and 30% were undecided. After the debate, 45% of you are for the motion, 46% are against, and 9% are undecided. The side for the motion wins. Congratulations to all of them, and of course, to the art of persuasion itself. From me, John Donvan, and Intelligence Squared, thank you.